Hello, I thought we'd do a quick video on uh, Friday as we close off the week. Um, we've all had a long, busy week, so we thought we'd just uh, gather our thoughts on what we've been up to this week, because it's been a really busy week. So let's start with Connor. How's your week been, Connor? Yeah, it's been good. So for me, I've been uh, helping deploy um, a sort of large scale landing zone for a financial institution. Um, so kind of making it all secure, uh, putting that in place before they have some uh, data platforms going. Um, so we've been putting in, you know, firewalls and to ensure security there, um, application gateways, you know, bastions, everything in there that we can to help um, shore up and secure their environment um, and ensure secure access as well. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. Um, we've been, had to, beginning of the week, we were shifting over some live virtual machines that were part of their uh, production environment as well onto a new network. It's always a fun time having to move uh, live VMs and having to ensure you have as little downtime as possible. Uh, but we managed to get that done. Um, yeah, it's, it's been good, but uh, we're just closing it off now, um, and the clients seem fairly happy, so it's always, uh, good, always nice. Good, nice one. And is that a secure landing zone, like with, uh, are they using Defender as well as your firewall and private endpoints and stuff like that? Yeah, so we've got policies in place to ensure that Defender comes on for all the subscriptions underneath it. Um, we've also got private endpoints in there. Uh, for cool. their, you know, storage accounts at the moment, for their uh, key vaults, uh, you know, as well as uh, uh, sort of having the private DNS zones in there for any other uh, resource, resources going in that are going to require uh, cool. private link and private DNS. Oh, yeah. And we've got all the conditional forwarders and all that kind of stuff to, to work on as well for the on-prem resolution of those private endpoints, so that's cool. Thank you, Connor. So I've learnt, have you learnt much this week then? It's been been good experience. Yeah, it has been good. Good. Um, uh, definitely. I mean, you know, there's always a lot to learn with new clients and new environments. So, yeah, always a good. always a new challenge. Good. Adam, how did you get on? Yeah, not too bad. It's been uh, quite a busy week. So we um, had sort of an urgent requirement come in from one of our customers earlier in the week to uh, basically get a new secure connection to their environment sort of provision for them. Um, so I've been working on that. So that that's involved sort of deploying Bastion, deploying entry domain services, um, and and a NAT gateway as well for a couple of their VMs. Um, so yeah, just just sort of getting their environment up to scratch, getting it uh, sort of set up for what they need at the moment, and um, making sure it's all locked down and, and secure. So we're we're sort of coming towards the end of that now. So it's uh, it's looking nice. good. Oh, we have said we'd do a little uh, video on on troubleshooting, like uh, as your Bastion and stuff. So we'll probably do that. In, in a while because there's, there's a lot of things to think about and get, people get tripped up with that one so it might be useful for us just to do a, a troubleshooting guide because there's a number of things you need to check when we set these things up so yeah that could be useful and uh, maybe fun to do because we are a bunch of nerds and we like doing that kind of stuff <laughs> maybe I'm speaking yeah. for myself but uh, cool yeah I've had a um, busy busy week uh, focusing on kind of marketing activities because we actually need to do some and uh, some um, good meetings in London this week as well with partners and potential new partners so that's gone really well and yeah looking forward to next week and yeah, yeah and so you're, uh, yeah traveling up to Scotland next week uh, right? yeah next yes that's right we've got a new customer in Scotland we've just finished so yeah that's another thing we've been doing this week we've spent we've we've done a like a two-day review thanks for that reminder Connor actually we've done a, a review with with Adam started that one off um, with me on a customer environment who using Azure they're looking to save costs um, so yeah our we normally spend a couple of days on this one but we, we found a lot lot of ways that we can add a load of value and give them a lot of pointers and you know there's a lot of things we can do we've gone into quite a few de bit of detail actually showing graphs and all kinds of stuff of their Azure usage so we've gone way way over the time on this one cause, but we've enjoyed doing that so yeah, presented it to, to them today and they seemed quite happy with it. So we're just going to go and discuss it in more detail and kind of look at what the next steps is, next steps are even. And then it looks like we'll probably save, we should easily be able to save about 25% of what they're paying today, um, potentially more. So yeah. we'll see how that develops over the next couple of weeks. But yeah. yeah. So yeah, looking forward to that. how much uh, kind of cost savings are left on the table. 
um, a lot of times yeah, exactly. in environments yeah. if, if you know things, right. things are just thrown in there and you know right. the cost isn't considered and then suddenly there's you know can be thousands yeah. of pounds worth of savings on a lot of environments just sitting Pretty there much, waiting yeah. to be you're right. implemented I think it's about at least 90% of environments that you see have got things in there that just shouldn't be there or they're wrong, wrongly sized or they're not using the right license type. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. There, there's so many savings and, you know, there's a lot of wastage out there. So people can, you know, save a lot of cash. So that's the other thing. Uh, started the ebook for the cost savings in Azure as well. So that's it's a bigger task than I thought actually um, so we've started that and we've only done the first couple of chapters and there's a lot um, to put in that and I'm having new ideas all the time stuff to put in there so yeah that, I'm going to keep working on that to make sure it gets finished and then hopefully we'll do a webinar on that and stuff as well as so yeah help people save costs well, there's two things that we like to help with save costs and keep secure so We'll try and tackle one one at a time and made a few changes to our website as well after some good talks with our partners was telling us, you know, we could we could do a lot better on our homepage. And uh, so thanks, you know who you are. Um, so thanks for that. And it, I think it already looks better. So, yeah, it was a bit whatever. But, yeah, <laughs> it, um, I think it's a bit better now. Unfortunately, it's still got my face all over it. So uh, we'll, we get some nice team pictures and we'll, we'll update that, I think. So, yeah, cool. So, yeah. Anything else from you guys? So no, that's, yeah, that's what we can think of. For now. Yeah, yeah, have a fantastic weekend and hope our viewers, if there are any, have a good weekend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll put some more updates on soon. Okay, thanks very much all. Take care.